Hi everybody, welcome back to this video episode where we are going to have a really hand-on and example on the OLED display library. Okay, by the end of this video you'll be able to display text on the OLED screen and also you'll be able to display pictures. So you can see in this example here you can see the picture of Saitama and you'll understand how to make it from scratch using an original picture. Also, after doing the picture, you will also able, be able to create this um, animation of the picture, so how you can make some motion and giving a good thumbs up. And then you'll be doing a more dynamic thing, like this text scrolling, like this one, and also the motion of the text. So you can be making a text scrolling in whatever the direction you want. And also, if there is another example you will be able to master, is also to move and create a certain animation. So if I have this motion here, you can see that you can move the guy as you want. So let's make it him down and make him up. So this is what you will be learning today. I hope you will enjoy. The example that I'm sharing here is inspired from the tutorial of the I2C communication and the OLED screen introduction and advanced strategy. It's also inspired from the Python code that we created to convert the BMP file to a format that can be displayed in the screens. The link for this video are available in the description below. So as usual, all the code that we are going to share within this video is available on GitHub. You can find it in the description below. And also the language that we are going to use is a C language, most of it. And the Kale program will be the one that will be used for loading and debugging when we will need also to use a little bit the command line to execute our Python, um, Python file. Okay, so the hardware that we are going to need for this time will be, as usual, the STM32F1 aka Blue Pill, also the OLED screen, the SSD 1306 or the 64x128, uh, and also we will need four push button to control the motion. So let's have a quick overhaul on how the code is generally working. So normally we will take some file, some pictures that we are going to convert uh, with Python to a certain format and some char for array or for um, some um, text that we would like to display. And we will put everything in a display that will have a size of 8 rows and 128 column. And this is because we are using the um, OLED um, 8 column with a 20. 128 columns and we will upload everything in one shot. So let me give you a small picture on the configuration of the circuit. We will have the OLED screen connected to the, um, uh, um, the um, STM32F1 as shown here and the STM32F1 will be connected to four push bottom that will they will be um, a digital input all of them and they will um, have some direction like down, right, left and up. So finally the library that we are going to use will be the JP library which is a very basic library, the library also for the Cystic which will generate the delays, the also the library for the I2C drive because we will need some uh, function we created to be used in the OLED drive library with this, which is the last one. Okay, so now that we do have a picture about how um, the connections and the logic, let's jump directly to the code. As usual, if you enjoy this content and you'd like to have more of it, you just subscribe and follow us. Okay, so let's start. Um, this is the code and we are starting here. Um, the code is fully written for this one, so we are going very quickly on it. Um, there's some variable that we will use later on in the examples. So, but first of all, we are going by initializing the cystic one to have the delay function. And also we will um, initialize the um, digital inputs, the PB that the bottom that we are going to use later on. Okay, so let's jump directly to the uh, main code. So the OLED init is the one that initializes the screen and allow it to display. And 64 is for the um, display of 64 by 128. If you change it to 32, it will become another display. Be careful on this one because each display have a really special setting. And number two means that we are using um, I2C number two. There is two I2C for the STM32F1 and the I2C number two is using PB10 and PB11. 
Good, and next function is OLED blank, and this is the one that clear totally the screen. So if I go here, not this is the uh, my um, wallpaper, but if we go here, this one will remove everything. The next function is the OLED message, and this is a quite a nice function. It doesn't use the buffer as we have seen before, but this is directly displaying on the screen. So it just put OLED message. This is the SP uh, I2C that you would like to use, and this one is the byte position. Byte position means it will be a multiple of eight each time, which is a byte eight bits. So the position will be one, two, three, four, until, um, sorry, from zero to seven. And 30 is the X position from the, if we take like this, so, but it would be from zero to 128. So if we save and build and run, we should see, let me zoom a bit. Let me try to zoom. Okay, that, I think there's no chance to zoom, unfortunately, yeah. So we see the hello view here. Okay, so let's go back and let's um, have an example of how we can upload a picture directly on this one. So let me open just the header. This is here where we are going to add some um, information and let's take the picture from scratch. So we go, uh, let me open this one. So I took this picture. This guy is called Saitama, it's a superhero. And uh, let's put his picture on the screen of the um, OLED screen, okay? So first of all, this is a JPEG picture and to, to get this picture inside the screen, we need to make some transformation. First of all, we need to resize it and the maximum size, at, as we discussed, we should here put by pixel. The maximum size that we need to have here as a horizontal is 128. So, and this is 64, so it's a bit still too much. We need to, uh, sorry, it's 118, but we need to put 64. Okay, so it's um, like this, and we do have our nice guy, our nice Saitama here. And still, still we need to make further change, as when, when we save this one, we have to save us, not as a JPEG, but we have to um, save it as a monochrome bitmap. Okay, let's do it. It's downgraded a little bit more, but this is the best that can be done, as the screen has, uh, doesn't have really a lot of features. So let's, uh, this is, has been saved, and so let's add this one after that. So let's take the program that we have used to convert the BMP file for the N5110. This is a, this is a, um, a Python that we wrote uh, together. So let's go here and start writing this one. Let me close this window. So this is the terminal for the VS code, and let's write the N511. And after that, just add the name, so Saitama BMP, okay? Just be very um, keen to keep this name, so, and both files should be within the same folder. So if I put enter, I should see that my uh, terminal would have generated the guy using only once, and if it generated this one, it means the picture has been generated properly, and also, and a text message has been generated. So you just have to take this text message, copy like this, and then paste it somewhere in your code. For us here, we are going to paste it in the OLED header library, okay? And after that, we need to start generate an image type. Image type is a type of variable that we created in a previous tutorial, and this is the one that will have en enough uh, information to make the display happen. So let's take here, so image type, and we can call it, for, call it, for example, Saitama. I think, I hope this one is uh, called Saitama, so I will put it as a big S for Saitama, and then equal, and let's start. So dot H, so how much height uh, is this picture? And we will put here exactly Saitama, how many, not row, but yeah, Saitama rows. There is eight col um, rows for this one. And after that, dot, um, dot width, and how many, how is the width of this picture? We just put Saitama column. And this is in the structure, so that helps later on when build the graphic. So this information is very important, so it be to be used to build the graphic. Then, this is the two most important, but there's two other ones that are very important. So there's dot 
x position so where we would like to have the picture and let's put it zero just to see what's happening and also we do have the y position so if we put dot y post but this is the by the byte position so it's not really uh, a good one so put a zero and last one let's go here it will be the um, bit dot bit y and position so this is really an accurate position and let's put it as a zero just for the beginning to see what's happening okay so this is the first part of the setup we need to set up this one but we still to add another thing there's another part of the um or the one that we can add is saitama this one dot not i need to put the um capital letter at the beginning and dot image I may Saitama here dot image and this is an array of arrays so I put zero the first one and it will be equal to Saitama okay wonderful so now we set up our picture we can what we can do and change is um, clear so we are going to load this picture to a buffer and this is the buffer here the variable that we created and we discussed in the presentation material so we are going to clear the buffer so it means to put everything as a zero so let's go here clear buffer and it will be the OLED um, buffer this one after that we are going to use a function called update a buffer bit so we are going to update the buffer at the bit level and this one it will be the first thing will be the uh, the image type that we are going to put so as you can see so we are going to put Saitama okay and after that we put the which image number for this we do have only one so we will put zero and then just the buffer so OLED we would like to update this OLED buffer great and after that after just finished that what we can do is just print buffer and we put the name OLED buffer and that's all so let's see how the magic will work so something not happening here because always always don't forget to put which i2c you'd like to use for this function so you can use the pins that you would like to do okay so let's take a look um let me try to remember how i zoom yeah so normally normally we will see if i refresh again we will see hello world hello view and then we will wait two seconds and we will see our dear saitama there let's save build and load okay we do have hello view and then nothing why nothing because you don't forget that we put it here zero and zero for the position let's change a little bit let's put the x as a 50 and the bit y and the position for this one to 50 and let's see what will happen if we do that okay this is the position at really a bit level so let's save run hello view and it's almost there so let's let's push it a bit more so for the for the y one for the x one let's put it as 100 just to see and for the this one let's put it as 64 for the full um height of the uh, of the picture build and let's take a look brilliant we do have our saitama in the screen that's perfect so you can see here how i could control the position that um, i would like to 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 put so exactly what i wanted so i prepared also some very ready examples so we can see together how this is working so let's unset this one so let's remove this one up to this one and let's let me explain to you a little bit the code so for the code there is a picture that called um subscribe and another one that is like this is that we set up exactly as we had set up saitama and then we are going to control the bit position one by one we are going to control the bit position and we will see how the picture will appear 
and then another picture will appear. Just to let you know that I could set from the beginning some X position and Y bit position so I will have some desired um, uh, initial position. So let's take a look. So let's save, build, okay no error, okay let's make it big. So hello view as usual, uh, site number was too fast but you can see subscribe and if you enjoy this channel please do it and give it a thumbs up okay so you can see how like animation you can create so let me before that create a small break after Saitama of one second just to enjoy that a wonderful hero okay and then for the next step let's make it a little bit bigger let's explore a little bit um, not the Walkman, let's later on finish with the Walkman. Let's add a small update on this one. So for this one, imagine you would like to have scrolling. So let's open this one. Why doesn't open? Yeah. So let me unhide this one. So let's okay, this, not this, yeah. Sorry. Okay. And we are going to make some text scrolling and let me show you. So for this one, there is also a string buffer bit, means you can make the text scrolling. So let me un, um, uncomment this one and this one. Okay. So I created for um, a function, very simple one. Let me check it. So for the down is when we read the PB12. Um, up is PB15, um, left in PB13, and right is PB14. So each time this is a function that just give me an integer, instead of keeping reading, 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 we just read that. And the step is a function that read if one of these one is pushed, means it will return a one, just to avoid repeating myself, okay? So here it's uh, for the text, if I'm pushing up, we will have the text going um, down, uh, sorry, this will going up and down will be going down, of course, and right and left. And this is the text. So we do have the hello view text and we will see how using this one. So you do have update string buffer bit. First, this is a step of the text. So it means the um, Y position, the text position, which is the X position and 70 is the size of the text. So we will take a look later together. And of course, we are going to put it in the OLED buffer. So let's uh, run this one. So I put it a small break here just to put the text is ready and we can go from the like button. So let's save and load. No error, just for warnings. And let's save. So here we will have more dynamics in the screen. So here we do have subscribe as usual if you enjoy this video and a like button and after that we'll have desk text ready so if i push let's let's let me zoom out a little bit and if i push this black button here you can see the text is scrolling here and if i put this one it will be coming back here and then i can move to the left as you can see here or you see here and going down okay let me try to zoom i still don't know how to zoom like this yeah and you can see the text is getting down and up as we would like so this is a, can be a very interesting feature to be used so um yeah i wanted to to share with you guys so just to show you something else that may be very helpful so you can see here i put it that we have here 70 as a size let's change it for example to 50 and see what will happen okay okay let's make this one bigger so you should see now that the text okay let's wait for the beautiful subscribe button to come and the thumbs up okay text is ready so if i go down here you see that the text get much smaller here it takes only 50 bits of space so you can control also the size of how much text you need so it's a really useful function that you do have here okay 
last last one to change this time let's go and see it so we have seen all these ones so last option that i would like to share with you and i really enjoy is the walkman so you remember when we set up uh, the image type and i told you you can put many pictures uh, in the uh, many pictures in the uh, same image type so i, I think uh, when i put it uh, initially at the th up to 30 picture so i put it a lot of picture of a walking person so let's uncomment the remaining part of the code and the last one okay let me back here and remove this one we should have no error here where's the issue yeah i need to uncomment the walkman so for the walkman all the walkmans i created here have the same size so we there is no issue in the size of the picture but we can put different shape of the walkman so if we go let's make this one smaller yeah let's make this one smaller uh, this one smaller is better so if we would like to leave the mode of this scrolling text we just push at the same time up and down so we can go to the uh, walkman and or the wheelman um, walking guy so for this one so same exactly there is a direction that is controlled by the um, at the bottom but let's take a look here you can each time with the update buffer bit walkman select which picture you want so you can have a certain animation so for each time for each step you can show that this is a step that is changing and what i'm controlling here so i will have if my walkman is going to the left it will walk it will show a guy walking to the left and for if he's going to the right he will show a guy looking to the right also there is another picture the number four is the guy looking at you okay so let's save and build so let's put here and okay we do have our dear saitama as usual if you enjoy this video subscribe and give it a thumbs up okay so this is text ready so we have seen we could scroll the text as we want it but as i told you if we push both bottoms so we are going to the wheelman and we should have our nice wheelman so let me um, zoom a little bit here and show you for example if i push here my wheel guy should walk to the left uh, to the right sorry and here to the left and let me zoom out a bit and for example if i put here he should go up and here he should go down but i can also push both of them and he can go to that kind of direction so you can see that our wheel guy can go so many places now and it's a given look like a freedom uh, a way of freedom so you can see you can control the position okay so that was um, a short introduction for the library for the um, stm32 f1 controlling the oled display screen i hope you really enjoyed and um thank you so much for following okay thank you bye bye